Hello again, my name is Mirel. Mirel. As Professor Andres is not here, so I will tell this fascinating story. So we see about in vivo imaging of seabrefish embryo development. Uh, okay, it's one of the main areas of our research group is to develop image processing methods to analyze the images from a state-of-the-art microscopy method. <coughs> Microscopies. That means a confocal battery photomicroscopy, set of plane illumination microscopy, or harmonic microscopy. And this with the overall goal of understanding the system's biology from genes, cells, to organs or individuals. And we have this project, which is the Digital Embryo Project, which is building kind of Google Maps of embryo development. That means from the first cell of an animal model, which can be a zebrafish or a sea urchin, we want to track the position and the lineage of all the cells of the embryo. So we build the, the lineage tree, and we know also the shape or some genes that are expressing, things like that. So one example is uh, this image processing pipeline that we have built to analyze multi-harmonic imaging of these zebrafish embryos, which is, in fact, they are unstained zebrafish embryos. And with the second harmonic generation, which is the mitotic spindles, so we see when a cell divides. But with the third harmonic generation, we see, the, we see the cell shapes, okay? So with one, we can segment the shape, and with the other, we can make the lineage tree, uh, which is the results. We provide a set of tools and methods which we're able to reconstruct, uh, in this case, for the first time, in a paper that we published in Science two years ago, uh, the life of the, the lineage tree of, of a zero embryo from the first cell till the uh, cell number 1,000. Okay, so we have all the coordinates of all the cells of the embryo and all the shapes. And we can see, I mean, which are these underlying process that which are organized in time and space that make the, the embryo. And then some cells start to move and form the eye, others form the heart, you see the blood cells. So you really can understand what's going on. I mean, it's like the tree of life. And uh, so we wish list, okay, we are looking for people in the biological field and medical field that has these kind of images and want help with the quantification, with the analysis, with the processing. And also we are very involved trying to, to gather different groups uh, to set up infrastructures, to share data, to share gold standards, to share processing methodologies. I mean, to, to put together a community that works in this developmental biology field. Uh, it can be both embryos of several fish or whatever animal model or stem cell research. Uh, so in fact, we do not do this alone. We have a very close collaboration with two groups in France, in Paris. And then we have some uh, part of the groups here in the in the room, uh, and uh, we are set up in the biomedical image technologies lab at the UPM. So I think that's all. You can write to Andres or to me if you have any doubt. Thank you.